G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now in this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a DIY sliding snelled rig just like this. Now this has become one of my go-to rigs when targeting species like snapper and gummy sharks when using baits that vary in sizes such as squid, mackerel, pilchard and silver whiting. And that's because this rig allows you to slide this top hook up and down so easily and that ensures that you get perfect bait presentation every single time. Now let me run you through the list of materials that you're going to need to create the sliding snell rig. To create this rig you'll need one size 4 octopus hook, you'll also need one size 6 octopus hook, you'll need one metre of fluorocarbon leader, I've gone with 50 pound, you'll also need about 30 centimetres of a lesser strength fluorocarbon leader and I've gone with 20 pound, you'll need barrel swivels with a breaking strain of at least 100 pound, you'll need some thin red tubing which is thin enough to fit through the eye of that size 4 octopus hook and you'll also need a decent pair of cutting scissors. Now if you do plan to target even bigger size fish then you can easily up the hook sizes and up the strength of that fluorocarbon leader to maybe 80 or even 100 pound. So the first step is to cut a length of fluorocarbon which is roughly one meter. So for me that's about a full arm's length and then we're going to grab our scissors and we're just going to trim that away. Okay. Then grab the bigger hook which will go at the bottom. So this is our size 6 octopus hook. And then what you're going to do is you're going to thread the fluorocarbon leader through the eye of the hook. And then you're just going to run it in line with the back of the hook like that. Now what we're going to do is with this top part hanging over, so we're going to bend that back, I'm going to wrap it around about 15 times until it's in line with that point of the hook and then thread it back through. Grab the top part of your leader and just thread that through the back of the eye of the hook. And just take that all the way through. Okay, and then pull really nice and tight. And that is stage one done, other than trimming away that little tag end. Now what I would always suggest is when you are trimming the tag, leave a little bit, because what it does, it just allows for a bit of movement. Next, grab your red tubing, and we want to cut a small length, about three centimeters. Next what you do is grab your size 4 octopus hook and you want to make sure that you can thread this red tubing through the eye of that hook. So if we do that there, we simply push that through. Okay, and then pull it about halfway up. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your line that you've already created and at the end basically thread that bit of line through the red tubing. And have it only come out a couple of centimeters at this stage and I'll explain why in a minute. Now what you do is put that down 
Grab your lesser strength fluorocarbon leader and you want to cut a length about 30 centimeters long. Okay, grab your scissors. Okay. Now this is the tricky part of the rig and if you can learn to master this part, you'll do it quite easily. So what you need to do is grab this 30 centimeter part of leader and just run it along the back of the hook like that. So we haven't tied it, it's just hanging at the back. And then what you wanna do is pinch it and create a circle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this circle part and we're gonna wrap that around the inside of the hook about 15 times, going around that leader and also the tag bit of that circle. So if we do that now, so we will grab this part, I'm gonna wrap that around about 15 times. A bit tricky to get the wraps nice and tight, but take your time. Now at this point, what you want to do is grab this access tag and just pull it nice and tight, and that's going to lock that all into place. and simply trim away those access tags. Now grab the top of the leader and slide the red tubing all the way down until it goes close to that bottom hook. Now that looks great and it's locked in nice and tight and now you can slide this top hook up and down the leader very easily and very freely and that's going to allow you to move that around to get perfect bait presentation. All that's left to do now is to attach the barrel swivel to the very top of the leader. So grab your barrel swivel, again at least a 100 pound braking strain and we're just going to fix that up by doing a uni knot. Thread the leader through the eye of the barrel swivel, create a V shape, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the point of that, create a small circle, and we're gonna wrap that top part through about six or seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. At this point, just lubricate the line, and tighten, and that's going to lock itself into place perfectly like that. There you go. Done. Right, At this stage, all you do is trim that tag away. Now, the way that I like to attach this rig to my rod is by using an easy rig slider. So, I've got a Easy rig slider there, and all I do is, is I just put that through the main line that's attached to the fishing rod, and then what I would do is I would grab our rig that we have created, and again, just attach these two by using a uni knot, exactly what we did a minute ago, threading that through the eye, creating a V, a circle, and then threading that through about seven times. So one, two, three, Four, five, 
six and seven. Okay. Tighten that up. Give it a nice pull, make sure that's not gonna come loose. Trim that tag away. Okay, so now you can see I've got that easy rig attached to this sliding snelled rig. Now, what is fantastic about a rig like this is that you can easily change your sinker depending on the depth and the current that you're fishing. So I've got sinkers here in a whole range of weights. So I think I've got eight ounce, two ounce, one ounce, four ounce. So what you can easily do is grab one of those sinkers, uh, open up that easy rig, okay? Slide on that sinker, lock that into place. And again, if that got stronger, you could quickly change that. And there is your rig there. So you've got an easy rig slider, which can move freely up and down the main line. You've got a sinker there, which you can easily change the weight of that depending on the depth and the strength of the current that you're fishing. And that goes to a 100 pound barrel swivel. You've got one meter of 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's finished off with your size four sliding octopus hook, which can move up and down your leader freely so you can get great bait presentation. And finished off with that size six octopus hook. Now you could easily use this rig for bigger species of fish such as gummy sharks. All I would recommend is go slightly bigger on the hook sizes, maybe a size seven on the end there, and also upgrade your fluorocarbon leader from 50 pound, maybe moving up to say 80 pound or even 100 pound. Anyway guys, that's the sliding snelled rig. I love this rig. I hope that you found that helpful. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's heaps of helpful fishing content and fishing adventures. And until next time, good fishing everyone.